Today I want to talk about Z-Steg and how I used it to get some easy flags in the Eversec Capture the Flag competition at B-Sides RDU. Just a reminder, you can find the original post on my blog, link in the description, along with any reference links and source code. So I was introduced to Z-Steg by Gabe during our last CTF and I wanted to share it. Z-Steg is a Ruby tool that detects hidden data and PNG and bitmap images. I had never used it before, but it looks like a great tool for CTF challenges. You can find it at its GitHub repository. The CTF challenge in question was as follows. When looking at the homepage, I discovered the following HTML. Based on the file name, plus the general CTF difficulty, I figured that data would be hidden in the LSB least significant bits of the image. If you'd like to play along, you can download the original image here. Normally, I'd use StegSolve at this point to see what was in the image. First, I downloaded the image from the website. Next, I opened the image in StegSolve. As you can see, I found the hidden information in the RGB bitplane 0. Note that my Java isn't actually displaying the 0 selectors properly, so I have to tab over and hit space to enable them. For more information, you can read the following write-up. That said, the image might not use some or most of the colors, or StegSolve can just be a pain in general. In this case, I think that ZSteg is a great solution for these types of challenges. First, I installed ZSteg using Gem. Once I finished the install, I ran ZSteg against the image in question. As you can see, this grabbed the flag immediately. Other than that, it also did some file analysis and checked other potential data streams. This is definitely a tool that I could see myself using during every CTF. Between the ease of use, not needing to download StegSolve, and the fact that it does all the checking automatically. I'm also hoping to use it against images I've created myself using my image steg tool. If you have any ideas for other CTF tools or want to build a framework to automate a lot of these checks, then reach out to me. And as always, you can check out this suggested video by the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons to help me grow the channel and the blog.